Emily, explain to our audience worldwide and from sea to early morning shining sea why we are reading a 600-page document. It seems so juvenile. <laughs> Because this is how the uh, United States Senate works. One Republican senator, Ron Johnson from Wisconsin, who's going to be facing a very tough reelection two years from now, asked for the entire reading of the 628 page bill that took 10 hours, 44 minutes, and wrapped up at 2 a.m. this morning. This is all just a delay tactic, Tom. This is a tactic that Republicans are trying to put forward to do anything they can to stall up the Democrat backed stimulus bill. It's not going to work. Democrats are going to pass the bill. It's just going to take them a little bit longer. Yeah, well, Democrats yeah. are their bigger obstacle, uh, more than even the Republicans to themselves at this point. The idea of who gets the more clout, the centrists or the more progressive wing? And it seems like the centrists have had a few bones thrown to them. How much pushback are you expecting to see from progressives over the weekend? And what does that mean for further uh, bills going forward, like infrastructure? So one of the interesting things we're going to be keeping our eye on is that the next step is Republicans to start offering amendments to this bill. And remember, they only need to peel off one Democrat of that 50 if they want to get one of these amendments included. And so that can sort of change the structure of things. Because right now, the way it is, Democrats have sort of struck agreements to satisfy both centrists as well as more progressive people with the bill, just sort of shoring up support, getting everyone on board. But if one of these Republican amendments is actually added to the the bill, that could shift the dynamics and potentially jeopardize the bill in the House.